a necessity or an eyesore. Whatever you call these campsites along the South Platte River, you can certainly agree they are divisive. The city of Inglewood wants them gone by Tuesday, leaving dozens of people looking for a new place to call home. Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez joins us tonight. And Ivan, the big question is, where will these people go? Good evening. Well, at the end of the day, it's all up to them. There will be services available to anyone who is displaced. One woman I spoke with tells me the hardest part isn't getting people to leave the river. It's getting them out of homelessness. Driving alongside the South Platte River, it's not entirely obvious the community of tents that are installed along the edge. At times, it's hidden by the river's natural beauty. Once you take a closer look, though, your perspective may change. We've got personal possessions that are being stored to the best of their ability, tarps. Lynn Ann Heising is a member of Change the Trend, an organization aimed at reducing the impact of homelessness. Some of these folks, probably the majority, would prefer to not be camping. You know, a lot of these folks are working somewhere and their wages don't allow them to save money to get into uh, even a low level apartment. About two weeks ago, signs were posted along the river reading everyone living along it must move out by June 4th. Heising says on Tuesday when the camps are being cleared out, people will be given an option to be taken to a shelter where they'll be provided a variety of services. It takes approximately five efforts, five times for people to try get off the street before they're actually successful. Heising says in providing the people displaced with services, they're trying to break a cycle and not kick a can down the road. Just on the other side of the bridge there is Denver, and it's not too uncommon when they're asked to move that they move to Denver. Well, then Denver will do a sweep, and so then they move back this direction. It's just part of the life of somebody experiencing homelessness. Police and other organizations will begin removing anyone left on the river Tuesday morning. I guess the question of where they'll go still remains. Yeah. We'll find out Tuesday. All right, nice job. Thanks, Ivan.